Um, but right now it's all pretty much uh, good weather for polling. Not too windy, not too rainy, where, not too where, cold. Where is, Tamati, where are you this morning? Where am I this morning? Um, have a look behind me. This is the Otago Museum, which is situated in the beautiful yet windy today, Dunedin. Uh, I'm down here because tonight <laughs> Elton John rolls into town. Sir Elton himself, and I've come kind of dressed in kind of Elton-esque this morning. Um, and you know what? There's lots of people that are coming in from out of town, and they're doing just the same sort of thing. It is a great occasion. Uh, there is Elton fever definitely hitting the city. Uh, it, his concert is tonight. It starts at about 7.30, so the whole place is just going to be jam-packed. Apparently, the stadium is at near capacity. Um, it's going to be a brilliant night, and I'm really looking forward to it, as you can tell. Now, of course, I've got the glasses, I've got the hat, and inside the Otago Museum is a very, very special piano, but we're kind of lacking on the piano player front this morning. So if you love Elton John, and if you've got a songbook of Elton John songs, and if you live in Dunedin and you want to come join us, then get up, come down to the museum. This is where we are uh, throughout the course of the morning. I'm going to introduce you later on to some very special people as well. Of course, you're not going to get away with talking about Elton this morning. Cor uh, sorry, Rawdon Petra, favourite songs. Go for it. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. I can't. I'm not. I'm not, a, I'm not a trivia girl. I can't do any of the names. I just like them. Just hum it. Sing it. You're a singer. <laughs> you, know, you love your singing. Give us I a know. quick. Give us a quick I can't blast. I think of a single one. I've pressure, got stage pressure, fright. Pressure. I've got stage fright. Oh yeah, Benny and the Jets. Benny That's a good jets. one. There are just um, so many good ones. Don't let the sun not, go down on me. Not the candle in the wind one. Yeah. No, not the Diana yeah. tribute. I'm afraid that's yeah. not my favourite one. Hey, Tomati, I love the fact that to get serious, you just took the glasses off, but you left the boa and the pink and the the leopard skin <laughs> and the hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I have to, I have to at this point give a wee shout out to the lovely people at First Scene who uh, up in Auckland yesterday dressed me for this wondrous occasion, and um, I may just be wearing this outfit to the to the concert. Excellent, yeah, you, no, you wear it, baby. And uh, yeah, if you're a piano player, get on down, get on down there to the Otago Museum. We'd love to hear you play piano. We are on the case, and Tamati is getting ready very early for tonight's concert in Dunedin. And I, you've got a piano you found player. Piano. Well Excellent. Picture was going to have to sing then. I know. Well, spot the song, spot the song. Ro uh, Crocodile Rock, Crocodile Rock. Crocodile Rock, you got it, you got it. $100 goes to Petra, not from my account. Um, but congratulations, you got that right. It is, of course, the Elton John concert tonight here in Dunedin. Everybody's going crazy about it. It's going to pack out their brand new stadium. It is going to be the big tester, really. And Elton himself pulls into town, I think, at about midday today. It's very exciting for the town. Uh, but this is one very special piano with a very special story as well. I'll get into that very soon, but first of all, thank you for that, Sam. Now this piano, there's a wee story attached to it. Uh, there's a boy called Adrian Mann, a young fine man who decided that he was going to make the world's longest piano. We're going to be catching up with this, him at 7.30, but have a look and see how long this is. It is this long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 kids long. These are the kids from Tiano who are staying overnight at the museum and this is the world's longest piano. Uh, he's going to come on at 7.30 and tell us all about it. Why, when, how, all of those essential questions. Rodden and Petra. Fantastic. Do you think a longer piano makes a better sound? Well, his, I've seen a story about this guy and his piano before. He built it in a barn, basically, and they've had top international virtuoso pianist onto this piano and apparently it is the real deal they're saying that the well whether it's the length or whatever but apparently it is beautifully brilliantly made fascinating fascinating more, if you're into pianos more is sometimes better than already let's check in uh, with Tamati and Dunedin who's promising us a very long piano oh a very very long piano and a very very long piano maker I hope that makes sense. Uh, this is Adrian, um, who is actually the creator of the world's longest piano. We'll be catching up with him in just a second. Adrian, man, welcome to the show. Hello. Now, tell me, first of all, how long is this longest piano? Um, it's 5.7 metres, which is 18 foot 9 inches. And why is it that long? Well, the shed I was building it in was about that size. <laughs> <laughs> so if the shed had been longer, you would have built it bigger? Possibly. Possibly, OK. <laughs> They do have their limits, these things. <laughs> Here's the tough question. Why did you build a long piano? Uh, it's a bit of a long story, but I was always curious in the piano when I was younger, when I started learning, and I asked my piano teacher, I said, how long would the bass string be if there was no copper wound around on it? Mm. And she sort of answered, oh, you know, the string would be so long it would go on forever. So um, I had to do an experiment to find out, really. 
what, how long that really was. Is this the experiment behind us? It, it is really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, now for all of you piano buffs out there that are wanting to see inside, um, stand up, let's go and have a look in there. Um, and you can take us over as well and, and guide us through what we can see. Uh, it's out of the keyboard end anyway. All right. Let's have a look at the keyboard end. Down here, we've got a few keys that's shorter than normal, yeah? But that's not a problem, you yeah. say? Yeah, there's sort of two standards. There's 85 keys and 88 keys. So this ends at A instead of C. Right. Yeah. Okay, and inside you've got a bit of, uh, you say number eight wire mentality going on. What's the go? Yeah, I had to put some number eight wire in there. Um, yep, yeah, these hitch pins are made out of number eight wire. These are the little red bit, around the red bits, the little uh, bits coming out of the, the middle of them, yeah? That's right, yep. Yeah. It was a, a sort of a, a, an easy fix to a problem that I had. Um, in here we have the action, and this is all the hammers and parts, um, dampers and things. They hit the strings, which you can see there, and the strings go back over a soundboard bridge, and this puts the, um, the sort of kinetic vibration through there onto the soundboard, which there moves the ear and gives you the sound. Okay, take a look down that way, right down towards the end of the piano, because that's how long it goes for. And this, you've actually had some, some pretty big composers come and play on this here. What was their feedback? Oh, we've had um, a famous Brazilian concert pianist, Artur Samiro, come along and play the piano and he was pretty um, impressed with the sound, I think, and, and just really got into experimenting and, and playing the notes really, you know, like that. And yeah, You've also, and this is, this, is the, this is where the Elton John link comes in, you've also invited Elton to come and play on the piano. Now, you got, you, you've got some people that have been in touch with promoters, what's the feedback been? Yeah, well we thought he might be interested in coming along and playing it, so we got hold of the promoters, a number of people got hold of the promoters and things. Um, it's, it's, the, the feedback's been sort of variable, like he might come and see it, but he might not, and then he might not at all, so it been very variable feedback there. Right, okay. Alright, well um, it, it's here at the Otago Museum. If you are down around these ways, if you're in town for the concert, then pop in and have a look at it. And dude, fingers crossed that um, maybe, Absolutely. randomly, yeah. you know, <laughs> the big guy might just show up in here and, and, and who knows. Um, Rodden and Petra. Very cool. That would be very cool. I'm nice. willing to bet if Sir Elton knew it was there, he'd pop in because he's a pretty piano crazy. Decent sort. He, he is. big things. He is piano crazy. Um, Tamati, there's no losing to be done. Just winning down there. Are, are, you, are you getting your fingers ready to play piano, sir? Yes, I am. I am. Just wait there. Hang on. The genius is about to go. playing with Johnny Dice. Say hi Johnny. Hey, uh, now Johnny is, um, well that's actually the extent of my piano. He does a little bit better, though, well quite better, actually lots better. Uh, Johnny Dice actually is um, here this morning. He's going to be playing, uh, well accompanying me actually. Uh, my favourite album, oh hang on, backtrack. If you've just woken up and you're thinking, what is Darmacy doing this morning? Guess what? Um, I'm coming to you from Otago Museum this morning here in Dunedin because tonight is the Elton John concert. A big, huge, international star, that guy, Sir Elton John, he's coming to play at the new Forsyth Bar Stadium here in Dunedin. It's going to be a big day, big night as well. Uh, apparently the, the stadium is at near capacity and uh, everybody's uh, talking about the concert. Lots of people are going to it. Me. And uh, very soon I'll be giving you my favourite Elton John song. Right, Johnny Dice. Let's go. Take it away. Petra, this is just for you. <clears throat> Really, I'm really well impressed. That's well 
Celebrity Idol, here we come. Hey. Very good. This is Adrian Mann who has created this five meter seven piano. Maybe the world's longest piano. It's not yet actually been verified, but it's a pretty darn long piano. And it was made this way because that was the size of his garage. Um, you've done an awesome job, dude. And he's playing a bit of Billy Joel uh, for us to round off our Friday morning with. Uh, I tell you, get this, uh, Rodden and Petra, apparently, with Elton John coming to town, he has been inundated with offers of babysitters. Uh, apparently, everybody's offered to babysit little Zachary uh, for the time that Elton's here. Uh, he hasn't taken up any of the offers, though. Uh, he's going to be coming in this afternoon and flying out again tonight, so it is a real whirlwind trip. Uh, but isn't that nice that lots of people have offered to, to be babysitters? That I is just, very lovely and very New Zealand. It's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, good day, Elton. Yeah, if you want to just drop Zach off, we'll look after the we'll wee poppet. We'll take a couple it. of photos, post them on Facebook yeah. for you. Well, that's the thing. He could probably do it without knowing his uh, privacy was going to be invaded. You know, uh, it's genuine. No, I think Elton will be flying with a hairdresser and a flower arranger and a baby. 18, 18 nannies, no doubt. I just can't get over the guy who builds himself a piano. And he just sits, just happily plays away all day long. It's 18 foot long, about the size of the shed he had to build it in that determined the length. That and I've, I've, actually seen, I've actually seen a, a film of the first concert he gave at his piano in that shed, and that's when he had this amazing Brazilian pianist over. And they just got out, you know, it's the old sort of fold away chairs. It was just, you know, like a little country um, uh, village hall sort of thing. It was fantastic. And this um, amazing piano. We've had some lovely feedback, Tamati, this morning. If Tamati was in concert, I would definitely go. Well done. Singing on national telly, what a great job. My young son and I enjoyed dancing along. That was from Anna. Yes, this guy's a real talent. Tamati rocks. Really impressed with Tamati.